Alright, so I just got done watching G.I. Joe Retaliation. And it, you know, it was whatevs. It was okay. So far, it might be the best movie I have uh, <laughs> reviewed on my channel, but it's not much competition. There's uh, The Darkness, The Brawler, and. Oh yeah, Tax Collector, there we go, that was the one I was think, forgetting. So yeah, this one's definitely the best out of those ones. Uh, but yeah, so this one... Uh, it's not bad, It's but it's not good either. It is... I wouldn't even say it's average. It's definitely below that. It, uh... It's comp it's acted well. It's you know the acting's fine. Um, it's got a lot of well-known actors in it: Dwayne the Rock Johnson, Bruce Willis, um, and uh, Ray Stevenson. Those are the only ones I know. Everyone else, I don't. I've never heard of before. Uh, but yeah. So yeah, there's this movie has a. Alright, here, we'll just kind of get into some good things, and then we'll try getting into some bad things. And I'll try my best, just, I don't have a freaking script. And so, this is all off of memory. So, be a little patient with me. Um, so, good things, um, it's well shot. Except for a couple scenes where, uh, some of the action scenes are, they're too cut, they're cut too fast, basically. And so, it's... By the time you, like, start understanding what's going on, it changes again. Or sometimes it doesn't even give you enough time to understand what the fuck you're looking at. Because then it just and changes to a new angle. And it's just... It's really difficult to uh, follow what is happening. Um, but other than that, the, the shooting is fine. Uh, CGI... For the most part, it's pretty, it's pretty good. Uh, I couldn't. At the, there probably is some pretty shitty ones, but I didn't really see anything. Uh, but yeah, CGI was whatevs. And uh, oh yeah, so the action scenes are pretty cool. Uh, some of them, some of them were kind of just like ugh. Specifically the uh, the sword fights. I've never really been very really interested in sword fights. They've never really been my. Th well, yeah, both just. Yes, you know, the sword fights <laughs> and some of the gun fights. So the gun, basically the fights are meh, actually. They're not good. They're not good. Because some of them I'm just like, man, this just needs to end. Like there was a scene with uh, snake eyes and some girl, I think her name was. Oh yeah, Jinx. There we go. Yeah, Snake Eyes and Jinx, and they're fighting the, all these dudes in these like these red suits on the side of this mountain, and it just like goes on and on and on. And that scene, I feel like, goes on for like 10, 15 minutes, but it probably doesn't. But it, it sure as hell felt like that because it just it was not very interesting. I love that I was saying how I'm gonna make it, so I'm saying some good things. But then I still have bad things to say about the good things. Um, uh, that's uh, that might uh, honestly that's pretty much it. What's got for good? Um, I don't know. It's a bit harder for uh, by yourself to come up with a whole bunch of good things to say about something. Uh, yeah, but so. The bad things, uh, there is, God, why am I drawing a blank for everything right now? God. For some reason, I keep just pick thinking of all the freaking good things again. God. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, this movie has some terrible jokes. This movie is not funny a single time. I never even cracked a smile. It just, uh, it was not funny. And, uh, yeah, I just, I found the whole 
story of it. Very idiotic. Uh... Yeah, the, yeah, so the jokes were terrible, and the story was also terrible. Basically, um, oh yeah, and also, I've never really been, a I haven't been able to really get invested into the story, because it was very difficult for me to get intrigued, because when I was growing up, the only thing I knew about G.I. Joe's, I never watched the TV shows, I never watched the cartoons, if there was any cartoons, um, I never, I have never even seen the first G.I. Joe movie. I am immediately going in this one because, like, a two years ago or so, I went to Walmart, found a Terminator Genesis, and decided to get it. And inside of it, I had a little code for G.I. Joe Retaliation. So I was just like, screw it. And finally, I just decided to watch it after a year or two of having it. Um, but. Um, yeah, so, basically, yeah, this is my first introduction into the G.I. Joe stuff. It's all I remember is just having these little action figures, these little toys of G.I. Joe characters. And, uh, little cars, uh, planes, I think. But just having all these just, you know, military things. <laughs> and so... Whenever the people were just like, yeah, we're the G.I. Joes, I couldn't take it seriously. Because in my mind, instantly, I just think of these little cheap-ass little toys I would get when I was a kid. And so I could not just, I couldn't take it seriously. And I don't know if that helped make the movie better. Because from what it seems like, uh, Tomato... Rotten Tomato, there we go, god, I couldn't think of the website name. Rotten Tomato has it on a 28%, so that's pretty low, but, you know, I thought it was, I thought it was, you know, meh, but, uh, yeah, so that might have helped me like a little bit more, but that's not saying much because I wasn't really much of a fan of it anyways, um, but yeah, so the story is terrible. It has some villains in it. Uh, I'll try to remember them all because they're super forgettable. There's one of them that's just there just to be there. He doesn't do anything. He could have easily been taken out of the film and it would have been the same film because he didn't do anything. Um, cause okay, so there's uh, this guy that he, he's like a master of um, changing his appearance. So he can look like somebody else to, and trick somebody and kill him and all that stuff. Um, and there's this guy that uh, has a little, yeah. So Ray Stevenson character, Firefly. Only reason why I remember that is because I'm looking at the Stephen cast members right now. Um, but yeah, so Firefly, he's got these little bugs, <laughs> little bugs, little bugs. Uh, these little bugs he, uh, lets out and then he detonates them. I think that, I think it's pretty stupid, I won't lie, I think that's idiotic. Um, and yeah, so he lets out these little bugs and explodes them. And you see those things a lot in this movie. And I think they're idiotic, so. But, uh, then the character that I think had no benefit of being in the movie is... Uh, this guy that wears this, like, helmet is, he had, he had to be saved in this film. Spoiler. Sorry. Uh, he had to be saved from this prison or whatever, and he literally did nothing. He got saved, went back to the base, and just sat there, and then showed up at the end, and was saying, oh, this, 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 and it's just like... You're not, you don't, you don't, he doesn't even fight anybody. He, there is no action scenes with him. He doesn't do anything, so it's just, it literally could have been just the guy that changes his looks. And Firefly, that could have been it, because the other dude had no, he had no purpose. He, there was no reason for him to be in the movie. And also, there was this another guy, uh, 
Something with a D, I think. Destro? I don't, I don't know. I, something, sounds, something with a D sounds right, but... Uh, he gets, he's, he's in it, but <laughs> he doesn't join them. They tell him, you're out of the band. That's all I remember. Uh, that's one of its funny jokes. Uh, when they about when they're about to leave, when they turn around and tell him he's out of a band, so that's pretty. Whew. You couldn't tell, but I was slapping my knee right there. Um, but yeah, so he's he he probably was a much more interesting characters character than this freaking helmet dude. It's, he just ugh, he had no purpose. But anyways, um. Um, I feel like this movie on it also is a, a little bit too long. If I'm not mistaken, it was 151 minutes. And, uh, damn it. <laughs> yeah, one, one hour and 50 minutes. There we go. But, yeah, I, I felt like it could have been easily uh, cut down a little bit. Because, yeah, it just, yeah. And also, some of the, the story just, like, makes no sense that these characters will just suddenly immediately know something when it's just, it just, like, they, okay, so the characters suffer from the issue of, um, of just, uh, yeah, something happens and then they just immediately know what caused that to happen, like, no. They just immediately know shit and it's just like, nah. Um... But yeah, I, I'm trying to think of anything uh, else to say. At the moment, I'm kind of drawing a blank. Um, yeah, but that sounds like uh, it for the non-spoiler. Uh, but yeah, overall, my review, my rating, I think it's probably a 4 out of 10. So, slightly below average, I guess. That's what, I guess what it would be because for me five is average it's apparently some places say seven is average but it's like what the fuck's wrong with you if you think that's average nah because then that just makes it sound like you're just every movie has to be bad then I don't know just because if everything is below seven then it's bad whatever um anyways that's for another day if I decide to do that. I won't. And trust me, I won't. But, yeah. So, if you don't want to be spoiled, then go away. But if you do, or if you've already seen the movie, stick around. But, um, yeah. So, spoilers. Uh, so, yeah, with this movie, yeah, yeah the story sucks. Um, start with, uh, oh yeah, they, okay, it starts with the, all the characters going into a prison to break out a care of somebody out of the prison. Who? I don't remember, because it had nothing to do with the story. It could have been taken out of the film, and it would have been just fine, but, uh, uh I, yeah, because I remember when I saw that part. I just saw a prison and I saw them sneaking up to it. I was like, oh, yay, because I love, I love prison. I love prison things. Just, you know, prison escape movies, prison break, like the movie, TV show Prison Break. I love that show. But it's just, you know, that's my kind of thing. So I was pretty stoked when I saw it. And then I was just like, this is shit. They just sit there and just melt this wall. And then they waltz in. And then they grab this guy. Then walk out. And then, oh, but where is Bob? I don't fucking remember his name. Flint, I think his name was something. Flint sounds right, but uh, where is this character? Then they turn around and they're like, what? And then they just see the G.I. Joe flag get risen. It's just like, okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Sounds good. Um... Yeah, then we kind of go, just, we see a bit about how, uh, uh, about how Chang Tatum and Dwayne's character, best buddies, um, don't get attached to Chang Tatum, he ain't sticking around, uh, 
But they, uh, yeah, just fast forward to, uh, another, yeah, to another fight scene, because I don't really remember shit in between that. Uh, oh yeah, and before they drop, they have, a they have, a, they show off this bullet thing that apparently is, uh, new technology, where they shoot it, it's just a normal, like, AR bullet, and it's like a remote control bullet, and, yeah, they use it once in the whole movie, so, <laughs> I completely forgot about that until just barely, because it's just, it has no plot relevancy, it's not like they decide to use it later or whatever, so it just, it could have been taken out of the film entirely, and it would have been just the same, so, um, and yeah, they just, they just kill all these people, and, uh, they get, oh yeah, they get this, uh, uh, this briefcase, uh, from these guys that, you know, were gonna blow shit up, apparently. Um, alright, okay, so now we go, fast, fast forward, then, oh shit, it's, uh, you know, support's coming to help us, and then, oh, nope, it turns out. Like they're bad guys. They start shooting at them, and then they like kill fucking everyone. And Tatum's character sees—I'm just gonna call him Flint. I don't give a shit. Uh, no, no, I can actually tell you the actual name. It is Flint. Hey. Okay, I'm a little proud of myself. Uh, remembering these sh shitty ass characters' names and they're so forgettable. Oh my god. Um. But yeah, so Chang Taeyong's character sees Flint, you know, in the middle of the open, and he's almost, he's gonna die, so he goes over, saves him, but then doing that, may Channing Ter Chang Taeyong's character die, oh no! See, man, I told you, don't get attached to him. Um, yeah, then all the characters run, jump into this well. To get away from the bombs and uh, yeah even though the enemies watched them go jump into the well they go back and check inside the well and then there's nobody there and then they're just like okay and then they just believe it even though they just literally fucking had to watch these guys jump into the wells because you know they're shooting at them so obviously they're gonna see them jump into the wells but okay and then these guys come over, start shooting in there, which, there's like three people in there. These people would have been shot, but, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Fast forward to, oh yeah, okay, there we go. God, I keep freaking forgetting shit to talk about. Um, yeah, then we fast forward to this prison that has snake eyes get taken in there, and I didn't say this in during the actual view, I think Snake Eye's character is super lame, his whole per thing is, is he doesn't talk, I didn't give a crap about him, because he doesn't talk, he's not interesting, like in video games man, whenever you're playing as a mute character, like Homefront Revolution, you don't give a shit about your character, you know, you don't care. Because your character is a mute. You don't care. And so, it's just, you know, he's not interesting. And I understand the whole purpose is because they want him, the character to look cool. But I feel like they failed at that because I thought the character looked stupid. It literally just looked like a guy wearing a whole bunch of black with a motorcycle helmet on it. And that's it. But, I don't know. Other people in my life might find it more cool looking, but I think he just looked idiotic. Um, but yeah, so he's getting taken there, and then, oh, uh, oh yeah, so then they go down so deep into the earth, apparently, that is not anybody's, uh, it, basically there is like a, yeah, nobody owns them when they're down there because they're so deep into the earth that... You know, 
they, they don't, no one has jurisdiction of that area. So, confuses me a little bit why the Americans would be like, yeah, let's build a prison and then make it go all the way down there where we have no, no jurisdiction. Makes sense, right? Uh, I, I was just realizing how stupid that is. Why the fuck would you do that? Because yeah, it's just, uh, I don't know. Um, but, so, yeah, uh, but then, oh, Snake Eyes starts talking to this dude, which, oh, I told you he doesn't freaking talk, weren't you fucking listening, okay, come on, come on, listen now, okay, I don't know what I was doing, I, I really don't, but I don't give a shit, um, yeah, he starts talking, um, and he, oh yeah, so he's in the room with, a uh, Helmet Dude, and some guy, I think he might have been a thing in the first movie, but, not in this one, um, yeah, and apparently they've all been shot up, you know, injected with some stuff that makes it so they cannot move their arms, legs, torso, nothing. They, all they can do is move their eyes and their brain works, pretty much. And so, they can think and see everything, but they can't do anything. Um, and, yeah, so... Oh, yeah, so, so then Firefly comes in, blows up a whole bunch of shit... But then the guy that's Snake Eyes somehow makes himself die. Well, make his heart rate completely stop. So, technically dead. I think I think that's how you're pronounced it. But I don't, I don't fucking care. Um, but yes, so he's dead. Uh, but then, nope, he's still alive. Kills a couple guys, escapes. Kills everyone in the room when they all have guns on them. And straight up shoot this glass, but somehow the glass stopped the bullet, even though he's on the other side, so it just stops the bullet. What? <laughs> okay. I just thought of that, but. So, yeah, so. You know, I stepped on something and it hurt. Um, but yeah, so Firefly comes in, blows up a whole bunch of shit, lets him out. And then that's where uh, Helmet Dude and says that funny, funny joke. Uh, guy. <laughs> I don't know his name. The guy, the other bad guy. You're out of the band. Pretty funny. Um, God, it's, so, it's not even fucking funny. I'm not laughing at that, just letting you know. I'm laughing at how fucking cringy I am. Um... But, uh, yeah, so, yeah, so fat, then we fast forward, uh, yeah, just watch the, uh, helmet dude check out his, uh, base, and they have this nuke thingy. It looks like a nuke, but apparently it's something else, it's something that literally destroys a whole country, just because it, you drop it onto a country, some weird shit like that. Um, called Zeus. That's it. Um, <laughs> um, now I'm trying to think of more and more to say, because then it's just kind of endless fights that just I don't really fully understand because I don't understand the whole lore of G.I. Joe. Um, yeah, you watch the real um, Snake Eyes. Oh yeah, and during the uh, fight where uh, the fake Snake Eyes and uh, Firefly, I think his name is, <laughs> yeah, Firefly, uh, where they broke the dude, the helmet dude out. Um, there was an explosion, and uh, it, it hurt the fake Snake Eyes back, and so they had to take him to this mountain, and. For him to get healed up, so he's tip-top shape. Um, yeah, so when he's there, real snake eyes and 
girl. <laughs> uh, Jinx, there we go. Um, nope, I'm not gonna say that. I was gonna say some shit joke. Shit, shit, shit joke. Um, but, yeah, so, when they're up there, they just fight a whole bunch of people, and this is where the whole red a red suit scene that I was talking about, how they just sit there and fight a whole bunch of people on the edge of the freaking mountain, because they eventually knock out stinking, uh, the fake, uh, fake snake eyes, there we go. Um, and, yeah, then they're, you know, they're taking them around, and these red dudes don't like that very much, apparently, and so... Yeah, they, they take them out, then they take them to another place on top of a mountain, and they just sit there and talk to a... Oh yeah, they talk to some blind guy, I think. Yeah, Blind Master. That's his name, apparently. Um, and he, uh... And, yeah, so it, when they're talking to him... Oh yeah, so yeah, then he grabs his sword next to him, and tries fighting Snake Eyes, but oh, it, his sword broke in half. And he's like, oh my goodness. They told me this sword was made out of pure something. Something that is impossible to break. They lied to me, ugh. And so because of that, he suddenly is now like, I will help you, apparently. There might be something else, but that's what it's, that's, what well, seems like in my brain. Um, anyway, fast forward. I'm just gonna keep fucking fast forward. Screw it. Uh, they find a place where the uh, the president is giving some speech, and they're trying to figure out what's up because they in, they they know the president is not the president somehow just because. The, uh, yeah, the attack on them earlier in the film where Channing Tatum dies, they suddenly just know that, oh, the president did this, and it's like, what? That's, that's a bit, of, that's a bit of a fucking stretch, because it's just like, you don't know if some, like, may, you know, maybe just some, like, rogue, you know, Marines or whatever took that and attacked you, I don't know. Just fucking anything, but you mean like the president of the United States wants to kill us? Yeah, it's like no, that's just that's dumb. And I find this humorous that throughout this whole story, they're they are very open about destroying shit, about taking over shit, and nobody stops them. Nobody tries being like, you know, stands up and is like, I'm not a fan of that. That's all Americans are good for whenever it comes time to politics. That's all we do. God, I, I partly regret saying that strictly just because people are gonna bitch. But it's fucking true. Um, and so it's just like, you know, nobody says anything. No. That's dumb. Um, yeah, so they go to this uh, dance thing and they find out, oh, Kestro or something, something with a T, that's all I don't really remember. He is actually the president. And, uh, uh, I'm just going to fast forward a shit ton just because, to my memory, there's nothing fucking interesting that happens in between then and, and the end, pretty much. Because basically, we're gonna fast forward to practically the end of the damn movie. Um, yeah, so basically, they get Chang Tatum, aka Joe, the re the a the, you know, the boss of the G.I. Joes or some shit. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> um, so he, yeah, so they're, they're fighting the White House because the president has made this group with all the rest of the countries to talk about getting rid of all the nukes in the whole world and they're just like 
I don't know, man. That doesn't sound like a very good idea. He's just like, well, if you're not cool with that, I'm going to just launch it right now. I'm going to go to war with all of you. Boop! Presses the button. And then suddenly everyone else is just like, you know what? If you're going to blow up me, I'm going to blow up everyone else as well. Makes no sense because you would think... No, Jake, you're just being a dumbass. No, because I remember them being like, Hey, you, it's going to be your fault. You're going to blow up India for that? So maybe he's just saying, like, this is your fault. I don't fucking know, but... Um, yeah, so... <laughs> and because of that, yeah, everyone starts pulling out briefcases. And I, I am very confident about... They don't fucking do that. You don't see Donald Trump walking around with somebody with a behind him with a briefcase, just having the freaking nukes, just be ready to launch in there. No, like they would call up people and be like, "Hey, bro, you want to blow up this place for me real quick?" Thanks, man. Like, yeah, that's pretty much more how it is. Not. I'm carrying around a damn briefcase with me 24-7 and ready to freaking nuke shit. No. Um. Yeah. And then they decide, the, pre, the fake president decides, okay, so what we gotta do is, um, I'll be the person to bring peace. So he destroys his nukes. And then everyone follows suit, destroying all their nukes. And, uh, then, oh, Helmet Dude comes along and is now just, just, he just, people literally just basically says, I destroy whole world because I want whole world. I want to own it. Yeah. And so he presses a button. That's the extent of what this guy does in the movie. So, um, yeah. So he starts blowing up places and then it takes about 15 minutes for them to be able to blow up another one so it gives the gi joes see i can't even say gi joes without freaking giggling a little bit just because i can't take it seriously but um so they come along uh, <laughs> i'm trying so hard to remember shit just because it's just I, i'm i'm yeah um, yeah, so they come along, easily get through everything, <laughs> they easily get through and kill everybody, no problem, uh, the helmet dude just runs away, he doesn't fight or anything, he just runs away like a little bitch, disappears, he never dies, he, he never gets to see him die or anything, uh, but then, oh, a uh, guy with the, the cloning dude, the, yeah, morphing dude, he, he dies. Um, and yeah, Dwayne kills Firefly. I, I'm just trying to wrap this up, I don't fucking lie. But yeah, so they kill everyone. And at the end, as Bruce Willis give Dwayne his pistol, and he's just like, I want you to go kill a helmet guy with my pistol. And he's like, okay. Grabs it and shoots it in the sky. That's it. Yeah. And it was obvious they wanted to make another one. But it's obvious I'm not going to be able to because this one wasn't fucking good. Uh, but yeah. I'm sorry for this video being so shit. Um, yeah, I'll try. I'm gonna try to find something to make it so these run more smooth. Because it's just kind of a lot of me just being like, and so yeah, and this and this and fast forward. <laughs> that's that's pretty much straight up what fucking these are, and I know they're shit. It's just I don't know what else to do. But yeah. So, I'll do it for this one. Sorry, this one is so dookie. But, whatever. 
get what you're getting, man. Um, but yeah, so I'll see you next one. Bye.